Hello, so the topic that uh, me and my partner will be uh, discussing today is about animal testing. And some background about animal testing is that it has been recorded throughout history that humans have uh, used animals for biomedical research. Um, early Greek physicians, scientists such as Aristotle would go to um, experiment on live animals. Today, animals are still being used to test the safety of products that are going to be sold off for human consumption. The traditional test methods are very barbaric and is unneeded because of the current technological advancements that have occurred over the past few years. Now, the formal policy that my um, partner will be advocating for is the use of animal testing should be banned. Our uh, significant claim is there is unnecessary mistreatment of animals. Our inherency claim is uh, the traditional methods of testing uh, products is old and outdated. And our solvency uh, claim is that there are plenty of examples that prove that alternative forms of product testing produces quicker, affordable, and a lot more accurate te uh, results. Now for our significance uh, claim, there is unnecessary mistreatment of animals. According to Cruelty Free International in the UK, uh, in the UK um, about 35% of all animal testing is labeled as the animal experiencing moderate to severe suffering. Another, uh, a traditional test that scientists use on animals, uh, typically mice, is what is called lethal dose 50. And this is when they inject the animal with a specific concentrated solution, and they count how many die as a result after three days. In an article called Rabbits Blinded for Beauty, it goes on to discuss the grazy eye and skin test, and this is a test where the animal, in this case rabbits, are uh, in quote, uh, in full body restraints so that chemicals can be dripped in, the, in their eye or spread on their shaved and scraped skin. This form of animal testing results in the animal having chemical burns on their skin and they end up going blind due to the corrosion of their cornea. Now on to the inherency claim, the traditional methods of testing products is old and outdated. Tests like the crazy eye and skin test were developed back in the 1940s and are still being used today. While it has served its purpose up until recently, there have been alternative tests that have been developed that would negate the use of animals in testing of product safety. New forms of testing of safety, uh, so the safety of products include in vitro testing, microdosing, and non-invasive imaging techniques such as MRIs and CT scans. These alternative forms of testing have produced promising results and that traditional animal testing hasn't been able to make within the same amount of time. Now on to our solvency claim, the alternative forms of product testing produces quicker, affordable, and a lot more accurate results. For the case of in vitro testing, according to a nevis.org article called Animals in Science Alternatives, in vitro uh, testing uses test methods and models based off of human skin cells and tissue cultures. Epiderm, which is a form of in vitro testing, detected all of the chemical irritants within a given solution compared to rat, uh, animal tests on rabbits, which are uh, used and misclassified 10 out of the 25 uh, chemicals, which is a full 40% error rate. In, uh, in addition, in vitro international Corotex, <coughs> which is uh, a company that makes synthetic skins that is able to uh, provide a chemical's corrosivity uh, in as little as three minutes to four hours, unlike animal testing, which often takes two to four weeks. The traditional testing of chemicals using animals can take up to five years per substance and cost millions of dollars, while non-animal alternatives can test hundreds of chemicals in a week for a fraction of the cost. Now, as for the lethal dose 50, the late Dr. Bjorn Ekwall, a cytotoxicologist, was able to develop an alternative form of testing that replaces LD50, which has a precision rate of 85%. While it is uh, not a precision rate of 100%, it is a lot better than LD, the precision rate of LD50, which is about 61 to 65%. And uh, Dr. Equal's new method involves using human culture tissue to run these tests instead of live animals. Now with um, microdosing, human volunteers are given a small, uh, non-lethal dose of a specific chemical and product, and, the, and scientists are able to analyze how the body metabolizes and reacts to the solution. 
this is a lot uh, better and safer <coughs> for both animals and humans because there are times where uh, the testing on animals might have been successful, but once put into human trials, they failed miserably, such as the um, uh, such as an example in the UK where test subjects suffered an allergic reaction from medicine that was tested safe on monkeys at 500 times the dose. Uh, in an argument called Arguments Against uh, Animal Testing, it was said that Vioxx, a drug used to treat arthritis, was found to be safe when tested in monkeys and uh, five other animal species, but has been estimated to have caused around 320 heart attacks and strokes and 140 deaths worldwide. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm here to argue why animal testing is essential for medical...